Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Good evening, Mr. Clary. In order to keep the Navy streak going, can you do a Clary test on former SEALs Dr. Michael Crook and David Goggins or Goggins? Let's take a look. I can remember Goggins. David Goggins. I mean, if they're Navy SEALs, it's pretty much a guarantee they're going to score very well. Uh, David Goggins, Ameri American runner. I'd lead with he was a Navy SEAL first. Uh, oh, he's my age. <clears throat> All right. David Goggins, born February 17, 1975, is an American ultra-marathon runner, ultra-distance cyclist, triathlete, motivational speaker, and author. He retired as a U.S. Navy SEAL and former United States Air Force Tactical Air Control Party member who served in the war in Afghanistan and the Iraq War. He's former world record holder for the most pull-ups done in 24 hours. Oh, good Christ. <laughs> His self-memoir, Can't Hurt Me, was released in 2018. Uh, uh, failed the ASVAB twice before succeeding in entering the pipeline pararescue training. Goggins later became a member of the United States Air Force Tactical Air Control Party. Uh, after three attempts, Goggins succeeded in graduating from BUDS training with a class of 235 in 2001 as assigned to the SEAL Team 5. Served in Iraq. God almighty, he's a Ranger too? Holy cow. After several friends died in Afghanistan, uh, he began long distance running and aimed to raise money for Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Uh, he's helped raise more than $2 million. Uh, wow. Okay, here's another one. Uh, in the late 90s, after spending four years in the Air Force, Goggins, who weighed almost 300 pounds, was told that he was too heavy to make it through SEAL training. In less than three months, he returned weighing 190 pounds. <laughs> This guy has got tenacity. This guy has a temerity. Uh, no, that's awesome, man. Uh, I wish there was something more about here. Bibliography. <clears throat> uh, I don't think he came from money. Don't think he majored in stupid stuff. It looks like he didn't go to college, which, again, that's better than going to college for a worthless degree. It's currently running, da da da. Uh, it, it basically, did he come from money? Because he didn't major in stupid stuff, been working his entire time, still working now. David Goggins, bio. Boo, boo, boo. Retired. He was once married. Bio nutrient. As per nationality, belonged to African American group. Signed as Aquarius. Who cares, Aquarius? Truen Goggins. Or Trunus Goggins is his dad. Let's take a look at that. Not to stalk his dad. Oh, he ran a skate rink. Interesting. Oh, that's not good. It sounds like his sister, David Scoggins' sister, died. Um, I don't know if running a skate rink makes you rich. I'm going to say he didn't come from wealth. <clears throat> um, yeah, he didn't come from wealth. The major in stupid stuff. Has real world working experience. Currently working out. Guy gets a perfect score. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yes. Should he run for office? Yes. And the other one, Michael W. Crook. For once, thank you for sending me a Navy SEAL who isn't dead. So with the last couple Clary tests we did were on. Uh... Is this the guy, Michael Crook? Patagonia?
don't know if this guy's a early life career. No, this is a different David Crook or Michael Crook. Michael W. Crook. Let's type in seal. There. There we go. Oh, this is the same guy. Is this the same guy? This is the CEO of Pentagon. Senior Service Strategy. Oh, this is... Oh, yes, he is. This is the guy. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. Dr. Michael W. Crook, born February 25th, 1957, is an American businessman and academic best known as the CEO of Patagonia, incorporated from 1999 to 2005. Crook held a variety of corporate leadership positions in industries ranging from outdoor equipment and apparel to venture capital from 2010 to 2015. Crook served on the faculty of Pepperdine University's Graziadio School of Business Management. Crook was also senior associate dean for America. Ba 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 da ba. Booty boo, booty bee. This is how you should go into a business school. Someone who's actually ran a business and worked in it. I know, I know, that's foreign to most business schools. Uh, nonprofit today, booty boo, booty boo. Early. Raised in Eugene, Oregon. Served as a Navy, Navy SEAL underwater demolition team for four years. As reported, experience a foundational business leader. Earned a degree in forestry. Oh, 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 oh. What do you do with this one, Cappy? That is a pretty worthless degree. Um, they went on to get an MBA, but he's old because he was born... In seven, or he graduated in 75, so any degree was a good degree, but man, forestry, that. I got to give him a quarter point. You can't get away with that. He gets a quarter point for that. I'm terribly sorry. That That's a pretty worthless degree, no matter how old you are. Um, so he has real-world working experience. He's still working now. Again, the issue is, what did he come from with, did he come from money? Usually if you're going into the military fresh out of high school, you didn't come from money. Uh, Michael's crook. Bio. 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 Uh, former Navy SEAL, PhD. <clears throat> I'm just going to assume he didn't come from wealth. They went and majored in forestry, blah, blah, blah. Worked a real job. I, I'm just going to say he didn't come from wealth. Yeah, unless, just, we'll see, unless someone tells me different. Didn't come from wealth. Quarter point for majoring in something that has to be at least tarnished a bit. Real world working experience currently working now. 0.25, quarter point for a clarity test score. That's great. That's a great score. Uh, would I like to have a beer with him? Yes. You give me any seal, I'll have a beer with him. Any seal. Uh, should he run for office? Absolutely. This guy would be, I mean, he has managerial experience too. I bet you he's just too darn smart to run for public office. <laughs> He'd truly be doing a say. He'd be taking a pay cut. He'd be taking a pay cut. All right, that's it. Questions, answers, assholeconsulting.com. This week, check out all the links down below. Download some podcasts, read some of my books, and we'll see you guys all later. Toodles.